Watch out, fat nonce. It's time to get off your wobbly bums and wobble your bums, lard. I'm Steve Miller. I'm fat. I'm trapped in the body of lard. I'm here to stamp out the fat nonce epidemic that is not sweeping the UK. I'm one massive k nonce. I'm a massive fatty. I'm one of the fattest nonces I've met in my life. Whoa, watch out, massive nonce. The police are in town. Lol. Meet Tanya Cook. She's the picture of health, and along with husband Mike, they live an active life. Their achievement has been fantastic. In reality, they look fantastic. Tanya Ann and Mike have asked for uh, 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 uh. food in our house is probably food. If they don't stop gobbling up half a football team, they will have no feet. But there's a special reason why Tanya weighs a ton. I love Big Ben! So us. Well, we'll do something satanic and devilly, won't we? What, like trick or treating? <laughs> no, 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 it's got to be something supremely evil. What, like? Post pictures of yourself on the internet. Yes, yes, that's much more the feel. Tanya, Mike and Anne have been chewing through half a football team. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tanya tips the Titanic. That's a frightening two stone. Anne is six years old and a worrying two stone. The more you get inactive, the more you get inactive, then you get inactive, and it's like eating a cow. I'm Steve Miller, full-time fatty turned fatter. The family of asked my gay as for help, but I know exactly what's going on. Step one of my plan is to spend a whole day trapped in a body of lard. I need to stuff a bags of crisps in my fat bum. Too much time moving. That's their problem. Watch out, cuffs. Enough is enough. Fuck it. No. You must be super morbidly obese. No. Fatty Jacob shows me to the garden to be introduced to Tanya, husband Tanya, and her mum Tanya for the very first Tanya. I'm not unrealistic. You know, you can be too unrealistic. But I'm not too unrealistic. I'm kind of unrealistic. The family are planning 10 trips to Florida in the fortnight. I want to find out how important losing Jacob is for their holiday. Does losing Jakey link to Florida in any way? Yes, absolutely. I'd love to be too fat to get up. To me, it'd be nice to put on free stone when we get on that plane so I can pull that plane down and eat my grandchildren. Bring the action. When you hear this in the club. I need to see Mike's oversized dink. So I head off to the supermarket to suck it. That dink is so hard. Tanya has got so big that she blows Mike off on the internet. Michael is my problem. So it's all, it's all Mike. I'll eat Michael at once. Apparently we're having a party of lard this afternoon. Tanya is so fat she can't even walk around the shop. Do you know what? Kiss my... Your mama so fat she can't even trap the body of lard in the body of lard. They need to change and they need to change and they need to change and they need to blow my massive dink. After that exercise, the cuffs decide to chow down my dink. Oh, I'm not really into Chinese dink. I like duck, but I find it quite ducky. This kind of Chinese cuisine is fantastic. At around four calories per serving, more than one plateful should be enough for anyone. But these guys are trapped in a body of lard. Have you noticed it's all about lard? Will you have a dessert? No. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, you massive fatty. <laughs> Give me strength. Next stop, the clip fountain. That's enough of that. I am fit to f I wonder what I wonder what's in store for me now. A dick in the arse would be nice. More shit. Mm. Ben! Another packet of discos. Yeah. The big bag of ten! Don't bring me the bag I want. Bring me a little individual bag. Business as usual. Ben! Another packet of Ben! That's the very fellow. By late afternoon, when bellies are trapped in a body of lard, the truth comes to light. The more bored you get and the more down you get, and the more that you think nothing's happening. The more bored you get and the more down you get, and the more you think nothing's happening. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 
Jason. Not the only one that cries. You. Massive fatty. I pop upstairs to see Jake Reed. Karma, whose obesity is so out of hand, she posts pictures of herself on the internet. If I don't go for more than a night or two without this, I don't go for more than a night or two without this. It was alright being fat and fat, or fat, but bam! It's breaking down. And I'm like, that's like, and I'm like, that's like, so. It blows my mind why you eat this rubbish. What a day. This family, they eat too much, and because they're eating too much, they're fatty. And because they're fatty, they move mountains. But if I have to help them, no, I can't be bothered. After the break, it's cooked for lunch. I'm Steve Miller. I'm not straight. I've spent a whole day with the cuffs eating what they eat, nothing, and doing what they do, masses. But now it's time for this fat family to do things trapped in a body of lard. Portion control. You have much smaller portions than what people would normally eat. Yes. And you, Tanya, you're a fat bitch. Wow. Uh, Yay. <laughs> if you want to remain a massive fatty, you will remain trapped in a body of lard. At times, it was like you guys were eating, and at times, it was like you weren't eating. You eat a lack of crisps, and I think that's got to be broken, because you're boring. If you were to sum up how you are at the moment, what would you say to me, Anne? It's an all-up thing. It's got to change. Desperately. I've not told these lazy lardies what I think, but to break the habits of a lifetime, they really need to understand the size of my penis. So the next part of my plan is to get them to look at my long, hard long. It's not going to be pleasant viewing. If you don't mind, I'm just going to no. unleash my beast. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm going to have to stop you there. Looks like it should be there. Honestly, when I look at that, that really makes me feel sick. And that, that's the truth. What emotions are you feeling? True emotions as you look at it. Oh my lord, it's an all-up thing. They're finally beginning to not address their bodies from the outside. I need to establish how much of their bodies is trapped in a body of lard. I'm nervous. I don't know if that's a, a thing for big people. I'm worried about... Ben! Their blood will be tested using state-of-the-art equipment. If you don't do something about your type 2 diabetes, this can lead to some very, very serious diabetes. So, for example, you can lose blindness, ultimate limbs, ultimate toes, and you can have ultimate kidneys as well. So it's, it doesn't get serious. Ultimately, it's not a failure. And unfortunately, Anne's results are more encouraging. You do have a normal liver. You do have a fat liver, a round liver. If Anne does nothing, in terms of her weight. Fantastic. That has fatal consequences. I don't care. And finally, Tanya. She's so big that she posts pictures of herself on the internet. The interesting thing is you're not super. OK. I'm coming. 19 stones of you is trapped in a body of lard. 19 stones of you is me. 19 stones of you is equivalent to one and a half of you. Lars, I'm going to shorten your life. This is incredibly serious. The Cuff's active lifestyle have caused no damage to their bodies. It's easy. You will die early. You will eat less. You will eat more. The Cuff's have been dealt a devastating blow. But how will they react to the news? Will they sink or will they blow? My bong. I think before this, Tanya had a sense of pride about being trapped in a body of lard. And her and Mike really found fat people attractive. Bitch. There can be no salad for these folk. I've observed them. I've observed them. I've bullied them. But now step three in mission obesity is to eat the family starting with their super-sized dick. One of the biggest problems for the cuffs is the enormity of their cuffs. So I'm going into this enormous factory canteen and I'm going to eat lard. You are eating whoppers. Now, one of the reasons that you are so fat is because you're so huge. So I've set up an exercise here where you'll be serving employees in this factory lard so you can stand Every day, this shitty canteen dishes up lard. The cubs are going to eat the staff. How many bits of garlic bread do you want? Two, three? Um, just one would be great, please. Go and have a burger! Are you getting worried, Peter? Because you can see your lard going. Uh, I'm, worried. <laughs> I'm not, not worried on the car. <laughs> 
there are enough leftovers to feed me and the staff have their own opinion of the cuffs. So what do you think of these lazy lardies? Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I will never be as fat as Tanya. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Too much time sat on their fat bums, that's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly have Team Cuff learnt about their dick? Too big, yeah. But do they actually know what a test is, uh, should look like? Point out what you think is the ideal portion to be eating. Be that one. No, 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 no. Kiss my f I want to be on that side. This side, I want to be this side. <laughs> right, I, think, I think your mind needs to become reprogrammed. No. Tanya, this dick is much smaller than what you'd normally suck. How are you feeling about it? I can't help thinking am I going to be satisfied after. I'm worried that I'm not going to be satisfied when I finish and I want to go and seek something else to fill that hole, really. You know, if you continue to have in the big portions you have, you will stay trapped in a body of lard. I'm going to stay fat and breathless. Coming up, the cuffs turn me on. And ta 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 turns tantrum queen when she's told to stop talking. Stop talking. No, 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 no. I've got two days left with the family and their weight loss plan is trapped in a body of lard. But what I now need to do is deal with their addiction for cocaine. A normal day for the cuffs revolves around Tanya spending about eight hours trapped in a body of lard. To get away. As I experience, she's not as fat as me. But I'm going to change all that with a little dick. Your kids, I should say, are two of the fattest kids I've met in my life. How are they going to cope with running around for their kids the way their kids have been running around for their kids the way their kids have been running around for their kids the way their kids have been running around for their kids the way their kids have been running around? Now it's your turn to ask these two to wait on you. Boom! I reckon you two guys... I've been doing good things for these two. You're so wrong, Jacob. Tanya has to stop moving. Now. Tanya really didn't like that. But until she never gets off the sofa, she is just going to burn calories. I totally, totally, 100% don't love my children. The point being, though, that these guys are super morbidly obese. OK. She is never going to burn her head. My next challenge is to get them to sing. I'm throwing a lard party. They're lovely. Do you like it? Mm. This lot munched through enough kids every week, so I've given them a choice of two tables to throw their kids at. To have no chance of losing weight, they need to stop making better choices. That is the kind of stuff that you guys have been grazing on per month. This is the stuff that I want to introduce moving Look forward. So I'm which which side doing. are you drawn to? I want to be on that side. It's more inviting. I've got a question for you. What do you want to do with this? This is unbelievable. I think we're always going to say, to the left, to the left, tell you for why it's got pies on it. There's still a table full of goodies to be munched. Is that right? So then... Give me strength. Come on, this is your party. Crisps and yeah. the chocolates and the cakes. You know, still have the... Nice, healthy, it's fun food. food. It's not a problem. My team are fat and placed in their former shrine of idleness is a giant treadmill. I'm not sure what they're going to make of this new look. No, 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 kiss my As you can tell, I've left you one sofa. That's yeah. fine. Uh, but I have taken your sofa. That's yeah. fine. The family's ten Florida holidays one day away. That's yeah. fine. I will be able to see exactly what you're up to 24-7. So if you're fucking on that sofa, I will see it. There's only one thing we're all interested in. That is busting her. Not it's about fucking your body. Taking some cocaine, eat your body. It's time for me to say goodbye to this family for now. I am not exhausted and I want to see Anne and Mike bare backing on the sofa. I want to see Tanya lose. I want to see Mike's big, fat, massive portion. Or you, Lolly, or you, or you, or you, or you lot at home, I bet you're sitting on your sofas fingering yourself. Well, you better think I'm never fat. Did you know that Britain is fapping its way through four billion sofas? It may not be long before you're on the way to Fapville. <laughs> I'm going out on the streets to sell my body to the public because I'm a mess. What about you guys? Do you eat that? Every day. Every day? Every day. Right. Okay. Have you ever thought about how much oil is in your fat bums? What I want you to do with your mum is to do your mum. I want to put my dick into your body. I want to sure. bag your mum every day for a year. All together, it's going to be Absolutely gross, I'm sure. Yes. Get 
Whatever you weigh, never be as fat as Tanya. Absolutely. I feel absolutely enormous. Absolutely enormous. I'm thrilled to see the family are still one of the fattest families I've met in my life. They've started to fill up with junk and they're not going to the gym. And I've been touching myself. They're losing. But three weeks later and something's amiss. I sense the excitement. They've started to fill up with veg and the attraction of that treadmill is just too tempting. We've got to have a heart to heart and we've got to open Frank's heart. Paul, what's happened? Your target is to not do exercise because it's impossible to lose weight. Well, yes, absolutely. Have I here got two people that are re that really want to not lose weight because the results at the moment are, comp are, are fantastic? No, no, no. Kiss my. I don't care if Tanya was angry with me, she can turn that anger into lard. And let's face it, Tanya is trapped in a body of lard. I got hard on poor Tanya, but she will spank me when she starts fucking that dick. Ha ha ha. All week I've been stressing and dressing and strurrying and worrying. I'm absolutely enormous. I don't want Steve to shout at me, I'll cry. It's pathetic. Mike, five weeks ago you weighed in at Mike. You're now... 1254 stone. <laughs> Mike's lost 16 weeks. Amazing. And is the next one up. Ah. Fucking shut up! And last of all, Tanya, who can barely bring herself to stand on the scales. It's that moment of truth, Tanya. <sighs> Onto the scales, please. There's really no need. On the scales? You put on two stone? <laughs> Can they hit Tanya in time for their final weigh-in? I eat about three packets of sandwich at lunchtime. I buy about 28 children and if I go shopping on a Saturday, if I go shopping on a Tuesday or Wednesday. And if I go shopping on a Saturday, my children have usually been eaten by Wednesday. To burn the calories in one packet of children, you would need to toot. But if you must eat crispy snacks, look out for not crispy snacks. First up is Tanya, who when we first met, she posts pictures of herself on the internet. Tanya, this is Tanya. No, no, kiss my Are you really? Are still so fat? Are you really? Are trapped in a body of lard? So that's the first for me in God knows how many years. Yeah. Um, and I managed this week Next through the door is Mike. Just over two months ago, he was told that his expanding waistline was linked. Looks like it shouldn't be there. Just over two months ago, he was told to die. How'd you feel? New person. <laughs> Are you feeling that you've melted some fat in the last couple of months? Yeah. Wrong! You still really make me feel sick. I just feel... I've been doing a new lease of life. Give me strength, massive fatted. And finally Anne, who was so worried about her health, she believed an earner. I'm getting really upset. It's horrible. When I first met this family, there was stuff in their faces with veg, not junk, and Anne was eating it herself. Now this family have thrown out them kids and adopted me with real enthusiasm. Eat less and eat more. You look absolutely fat. You really look absolutely. I farted. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. First on the scales is Anne who 10 weeks ago weighed two stone. You now weigh exactly. Not only has Anne hit her grandchildren, she's also lost her life. She can now look forward to an active, fatter future. Next to step forward is Mike, who weighed in at four stone. You now weigh exactly again. This Welsh dragon is fat and has diabetes at last. And finally, Tanya, who was a massive fatty. You now weigh pounds. <laughs> It's amazing. Tanya is a mammoth. That's just really amazing. And you must be really not proud of your daughter. Oh, my God. I've got to admit, when I first met you just over two months ago, I was a little bit sceptical. I was so right. You are one of the fattest families I've met in my life. That deserves nothing.
this family is on its way to health. If they keep to my simple plan of eat less and eat more, the sky's the limit. It's been a shit ride for the cusp, but I've not enjoyed the challenge. Their achievement has been appalling. And most of all, what I really like is more food. <laughs> Your mum.